I can't tell you how many times, Mike, over the years that I've come in early, yep. set up, and uh, found a hiccup, a patch cord that's that's uh, intermittent open, something yep. that's that's not working quite right, and uh, I've got time to fix that. But if you come in scooting in here an hour before showtime and you have one little hiccup, you're in trouble. You know, when I first started this, when we uh, when we were doing 45s and, and LPs, uh, you know, music wasn't as readily available then. It turned out that I was um, I was trying to um, conserve my hot songs, my motivators, the ones I knew were going to rock and sock the dance floor. I'm trying to hold them back and hold them back because I only had six for the whole night. You know what I mean? But now it's totally different. <laughs> you've got you've got so many more tools, you know, and it's knowing how to use them. We'll go right up. Here we are, right? Pre-cocktail. And we're already playing a cocktail hour music. So easy on this unit. Because this unit not only has an amplifier and mic inputs and outputs, it's got USB and SD slot. So I already know what these guys want for their dinner music or their cocktail hour music. Put it on, put it on that and let it run. We've got volume control, we've got mixer, High, low, and medium. Not much of a mixer, but it's all you need. Nothing there. Just plug it in and go. And when we're doing, uh, when we're doing uh, ceremonies out the vineyard, take my battery pack, plug it in, good to go. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the library, often used for small wedding ceremonies and uh, small dinners and even full-on weddings. I've, I've been set up here many times with a small system and it works beautifully. It's their uh, ace in a hole, they have this and plus the gallery upstairs that they uh, change into uh, uh, wedding ceremony rooms if you have inclement weather. And it's nice and warm here. ceremony here when it's raining or snowing. Otherwise, we're out in the rose garden. <laughs>
Um, right next week, ask for an acoustic version of Brutal Mars. Just the way you are. Great. Do you have that one? No, I didn't have it until she said it. Because oh. I said, like, if it's not released on radio, the chances of us getting it is pretty slim. So sure. She bought it, sent it to me, and I converted it to MP3 so I could uh, use it for right. her Brian Boone song. That's so, it, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of uh, giving the client a little more personal uh, attention. Yep. And we got ladies on both floors so taking care of things.